Good morning, judges of Coda Board. My name is Mikaela, and today I'm going to show you my project called Planticon. As you can see, Planticon is a site, a learning site, for you can explore gardening together. For the theme, I choose Revolution as the agriculture. This was an individual project by me, Mikaela Leandro Kisari. I am grade 5 and 10 years old, currently working in work at the New School Serpong, Tangerang Selatan in Indonesia. So this is a little bit of briefing on why I chose this theme. I chose revolution as the agriculture because I noticed that nowadays food security in Indonesia is decreasing. And as part of a young generation, I'd like to introduce a new innovation that inspires others to attract others for people to grow their own food to help government in providing more natural resources. The AI technology that is currently booming right now is growing. So through an AI application, I hope that young generations like me have an interest to explore my app Pantacom into really getting more about gardening and other agricultural stuff. Other than that, as you can see here, I have a personal experience in gardening. As a matter of fact, my whole family has been into gardening since a very long time ago. So enough about me and let's get to know what Planticon is. So Planticon is an AI machine learning site where people who aspire to, to be gardening can learn the basics of planting, gardening, and such stuff as that. Planticon not only has one option, but many other options for you to explore. From scanning to assistance, recording devices, there is almost nothing you can do with Planticon. And also, notice Plantican also focuses on the plants, but fo Plantican also focuses on organic foods like fruits and vegetables. So now let me show you my project demonstration. So here, when you click start, it will immediately show you what is Plantican, how to use Plantican, and the purpose of Plantican. So here you will see three options. Let's start by clicking the first one. So another three option appears. Let's click the first one again. Here you will point at a leaf color to show you its meaning and what it's trying to call you. Here green leaves means your plant is healthy, brown leaves lack of immunity, and so on so forth. Next is point at the part of a flower and it will tell you its name and function. Here you will be given a hibiscus plant and you will be asked to point at a part so it can tell you its reproduction and meaning. Petals are to attract insects, ovary or to protect ovules and many more. In the last one, it will tell you how to plant simply by typing a plant. Let's start by something simple, a cacti for example. It will immediately show you how to Plant it with very specific commands. Now let's try the second one, which is can of fruit or vegetable. Since these two are the same, let's try one. We will try scan of fruit or vegetable. Here I have an apple with me. Let's see right now. As you can see, if it's detected, it will show you its nutrients. Okay. Now for the last one, which is chat with assistants and record your plans. Let's try the first assistant, which is see the reason your plan died. It will show you a number of options of what your plant looked like. Let's say my plant is fresh, good, and green. That means that my plant is healthy and still alive. Now moving on, let's try 
the C if you take care of your plant properly. Let's say yes, for example. So here you will you can record your plant. Let's try adding something like an aloe vera. Here, as you can see, I can put my last water which was yesterday now with this i can be able to keep track of my plants in time so i can make sure that my plants don't die due to dehydration so now that's it for my presentation let me show you my coding i have 22 sprites in total with 18 different backdrops for my sensors i used artificial intelligence and speech recognition here you can see the many 18 backdrops I have. Again, there are 22 sprites in total. And that includes my presentation for you. Thank you.